And look how they move. If I'm mad, it's funny. ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between i'm back with somebody else's hair and guess what it is wine and wigs day clink 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 mm. well i needed a big gulp after how long i've been working on this wig girl girl these bangs did not come without struggle and stress but i'm excited about them and look how they move if i'm mad it's funny this took forever for me to figure out how to curl these bangs because I'm not a bangiana, bang Tisha, but I was able to figure it out after four hours of frustration and deliberation. And y'all gonna come with me. In the meantime, while you're here, just go ahead and hit subscribe and hit that post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post. Also hit the like button if you like how this wig turned out if you don't hit the like button anyway girl because we're here while we're doing all this chatting of course i'm having my wine y'all tell me what you're drinking down below so this wine is the foxglove wine it is from foxglove somebody's always going somewhere by land or by air when i'm filming where are y'all going now let's go ahead and get into this wig so first i want to say thank you to nadula hair for sponsoring this video and providing this wig to me girl look at this <laughs> look at this if you're a straight hair girl this is your lane this is your moment i'm trying to create spaces in here i'm trying to hit the space bar on this bang i want like a little this is a 13 by 4 lace front wig from nadula hair it is the silky straight texture as you can see it is 150 percent density and it is 20 four inches with a little bit shaved off the bottom because you know I, I always trim and cut my wigs and then on the inside of the wig you get three combs and adjustable straps in the back now i have this wig in a cap size small i'm pretty sure that's what i asked for well, she fits my tiny little pea head real snug and tight i love that because that's rare even when i ask for a cap size small sometimes it don't fit if it fits get excited girl and it does because i'm not really just like bone straight part down the middle silky straight sort of girl i decided i want to do some bangs that i saw on pinterest you know how it is when you decide that you're gonna do something and then you realize that you can't do it then it gets frustrating and then you decide to change your mind that you keep trying to do it and i ended up going down a rabbit hole of being frustrated and pissed and about to cry about some doggone bangs but we figured it out i actually did a little slight detour and i like this look a lot better you can wear this wig any sort of way and then it'll be cute but actually it looks good under here like if the wind blows the girls wouldn't even know anything nobody would be able to clock my teeth so let me show y'all what 24 inches of silky straight wig looks like oh y'all like that little <laughs> okay, let me turn around. Can y'all see? Can y'all see that? I'm about to fall out of this chair. So if you want to see the trials and tribulations and everything I did to get this look on this gorgeous, gorgeous, silky hair, y'all please keep on watching and then we'll chat at the end. Ooh, okay, so this is the wig. Look at how pretty this is. Nadula hair always does it with these silky, silky wigs. Look at this. Mmm. That is a silky on if I ain't never seen one. Let's go ahead and try it on and see what she looking like. We're gonna assess the wig and then at react accordingly. I always put on my wig grip. She come with me everywhere. I'll leave a link for the wig grip down below. I also leave links for videos that I did with my wig grip and y'all will know the reason why I love her so 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 much. These wig caps are so crusty. Oh my god. What was I doing? Okay, let's put this one on. Let's see what she's giving. Oh, this cap. <gasps> what did I do? Oh, I can do what I want. She can do what she wants. Oh my god. Look at the parting space. I want y'all to see see what I see see 
in the street streets. What am I gonna do with this wig? What do y'all think? I don't know. Let me show y'all on Pinterest what I'm thinking, the vibe that I'm going for for, the, for this wig. Let me clean my phone, that's gross. <laughs> so I was thinking like this or like that with the bangs. Before we do any of that, we need to just go ahead and start plucking. We about to grab our handy dandy wig customization kit. Oh, the tweezers not in there. What's the point of having a wig customization kit if my tweezers aren't in there? It's actually not bad at all. You could get away with not plucking this hairline at all. Okay, so I part the hair down the middle. I now do it in like a little section. So we're gonna start on this one side. I'll kind of focus like right here in this area just a tad bit because my hair is a little bit thinner in this area. So I like for my wigs to look kind of like my natural hairline. Now if I made it look exactly like my hairlines, we wouldn't have that much hair in the front or in the middle. <laughs> Cause y'all see my part in the middle of the head, but I don't know what's happening there. I need to actually look into that. That's probably serious. Be careful because sometimes I end up scratching my forehead with the tweezers if I'm like going too hard. So I like to take my little time, my little precious little time and just pluck. Ooh, this is much hair I've pulled out thus far. Okay, so I plucked the hairline. Ooh, that made a difference. So next we need to just go ahead and mold our hairline. I don't know if I want it to be molded molded or like slightly molded. So I don't want it to be like deacon flat. I don't know. Y'all already know when I mold my hairline, I be using this same product. I'm gonna take some mousse. Just a little, we're gonna use a little bit today because I ain't got that much. I don't have that much anyway, so I'm not trying to be playing with this hairline. I probably used too much in the first doggone place. Ooh, but look at that. This hairline about to be flat, you hear me? It's about to be real flat. I think a little goes a long way though, so. Let me just do a little. I wish I had realized that a while ago. Y'all, please help me in my ADD. I really am all over the place, but I'm gonna pull this hair back into a little ponytail. 
so we can mold the hairline. Of course, we're gonna take our rapid strips. Okay, so we're just gonna tie it down. Oh, girl, I need to reshape my armpits. I got some pricklies. It's like a little cacti under there. So we're gonna go ahead and let that dry. Yeah, they said 10 minutes or until the area feels dry. It be taking longer than that, so I'm gonna use this Revlon blow dryer. If you got $15 to spend, I really do think this blow dryer was worth it. I'm gonna blow dry on cool for like 10, 15 minutes. I don't even think it's dry, but I'm being impatient, so. We just gonna go ahead and take this off. Is this dry? It's not dry. I know it's not dry. If y'all are as impatient as me, y'all understand. Oh no, it did dry. Oh, I'm gonna pull the wig back some. What if my forehead look like this? Would y'all be my friend? I would be my friend, cause I would serve with this forehead, you hear me? Okay, so I'm using this hot comb. This is the Andis hot comb. I'm just gonna flat iron this hairline. Ooh. Oh, what's the point of having a wig grip if I'm gonna burn myself? I can't lose no hair right there. I'm going on vacation. Y'all see that? Okay, so the hairline is flattened. That was really easy. Now that we have flattened the hairline, we can go ahead and cut the lace. Girl, this is going quickly. Taking the scissors and Cutting it. So we've cut off the lace and after I cut off the lace, I saw that this is not gonna work. It's giving highlight Tiana. It's giving floating scalp and that's annoying to me. I'm gonna do something different and I'm gonna try and mix this Tresemme light brown root touch up with this lace tint and I wanna see if it works. Now this is a little bit too gray and this is a little bit too golden. I feel like if I mix them together, we'll end up with a perfect color or it can be a disaster. Miss Toilet Paper Roll herself, let me go ahead and bring her back into the foam. So I'm just gonna spray it. Okay, so then I'm gonna follow it up with this. Oh, oh, that's too much. Oh no, that was too close. Oh no. Oh no, I'm scared. But it looks like the skin tone, girl. We'll see. Oh, she's giving little gray tees. I don't. I think it's looking a little gray. I did a little bit too much when it comes to the lace. This gonna end up working out anyway, cause I'm about to cover up this lace. That's what I'm about to do. We can go ahead and spray her down. So I'm using the Wig Dealer Melting Spray with humidity resistance. I need that right now because stress. Love this stuff, got it from Instagram. Really good and hopefully I don't ruin this part. and the wig is down. Y'all wanna tug test? Girl, try and fight me if you want to. I won't win because I can't fight, but this wig is gonna stay on though. Come on. It is on, we love that. Love that for us. So next we need to lay down some baby hairs. Okay, so the wig is on, the lace is dark. Let's fix it. A way to remedy that is to do some baby hairs. That's why I have become a really, really avid part of the baby hair brigade. I pay my ties to the baby hair brigade because this is what helps me cover up my lace mistakes. You know what I'm saying? 10% goes to the baby hair brigade, period. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm just gonna part away some hair right here. This is how much baby hair I wanna do. I think that's fine. Just a little bit of baby hair goes a very long way. So we have baby hair clips here. These are specifically for my baby hair. So I like to clip the hair back just to make sure I don't lose my baby hairs in the parade. Let's cut this down. Are my scissors getting dull? No, ma'am. We cut away some hair and now we need to lay down the baby hair. So I'm using the Got To Be Glue Gel. Y'all already know that I use this so much. I love using it to lay down my wig baby hairs, never to lay down my natural baby hairs, ever. Ooh. Ooh. What's happening here? Brush it out. Ooh, better. You see that? love to see it looks great and we're just going to continue to do the baby hairs i'm only going to do one here and then down here and then the same thing on this side if you are getting ready do your baby hairs with me girl let's do it together So I don't know if the baby hairs are dry, but I'm gonna take it off because I'm being impatient today. Oh God. Oh no, they were not dry. Oh my God. But, okay, so I showed y'all the picture from the beginning of what I wanted to do. Ooh, this hair is giving. Oh, so pretty. So this is what the wig looks like originally. Like, cute but simple i want something that i can wear and i don't have to worry about my lace being out in the streets in front of everybody's face first i feel like i need to flatten up in here flatten it down right look at that parting space it looks so good it looks scalpy so i'm gonna take my hot comb and i'm just gonna Y'all, I'm freestyling this. I really don't know how this is gonna turn out. Like, this is what usually happens when I'm doing a wig video. Okay, so now that that's done, we're done. Like, this looks cute. Okay, so I'm gonna take this hair in the front. This is how I think <laughs> she did them bangs. I'm thinking it's this. You know what you're doing. You do not, you do not, you do not. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut it because we don't have time to waste. Let me clip this hair out of the way. I am living. I love this. Wait. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So. Just going to kind of cut it blunt, girl. I don't. Uh, just right on the cheekbone are these even even no <laughs> let me pull this back out of the way pull that back right it's out of the way on both sides and we're gonna just curl it you know okay so i'm gonna take my flat iron this is the remington flat iron i'm telling you i love this flat iron love this flat iron because it just it's so good i've had it for so long it's affordable 
Oh no, girl. Not that. Not like that. What are we doing? What is that? <laughs> this is not what I was trying to do. I should have left well enough alone. That's what should have happened. Girl, the mistakes that I'm making right now. This is my thought process. I'm gonna use this blow dryer and I'm gonna straighten it out. Let me see. So we're gonna turn it on high and then Okay, so now that we've cut, I'm just gonna straighten the hair and then see where we end up. Yes. To get the hair straight, I'm going to use, I love this thing. This is the Revlon, I think it's the one step. I'm about to put my rapid strips back on, just like a little bit, just to keep them, keep the hair this way, okay? Okay. I'm gonna straighten all of the hair using the Revlon one step. I'm gonna turn it on high, okay? And I'm gonna do it in large sections because your girl is what? Lazy. So let me just clip the hair away. Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. I have been playing in this hair for way too long, but finally we got a look that I am happy with. I'm giving you 90s bangs, 90s moment, but I do think it's super cute. I think it's like a good date night, very sexy sort of hair style. So I wanna say thank you to Nadula Hair for sending this wig to me and sponsoring this video. Obviously, like, I always have, I always have a coupon code for you all. So you can check the description box down below for $10 off on your wig. Yes, I said it, $10 off. Girl, you can save that for some press-ons. You'll get $10 off if you use the coupon code Nadula TB. That's right, Nadula TB for $10 off. Check it out. Link is in the description box as well as all of the other information about this wig is down in the description box below as well. Thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all for subscribing and just coming to my channel. Thank you so much. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.